Now this video is entitled When to Harvest Your Tobacco Leaves. Now there's a lot of people on YouTube who are uh, growing in pots indoors or, or containers even outside and uh, some of them are commenting that their tobacco ain't curing right. Why are my leaves curing green? Anyhow, through trial and error I found out myself the hard way. Now what happens is when a leaf is dark green such as this one here. Um, by the way, I always handle green leaves with the gloves. You'll see the nicotine coming off on the gloves here. This will give you a headache and make you sick even if you're a regular smoker if you get enough of it on your skin and leave it on there long enough. So just wear gloves. Believe me, it's worth it. Uh, but anyway, this uh, is an example of a very green leaf. He's starting to lose his color here, but what makes the leaf green is nitrogen. And nitrogen is basically protein in the plant. Uh, now, uh, if I were to dry this leaf, this, that is this green, unless I dried it real slow and keep wetting it and went to a lot of effort, that will probably dry a bit green. It's very dark when you compare it to this one here, see? So, uh, I wouldn't even bother with this one. You leave it on the plant until it starts to change color. Now there's people who are saying things like, uh, it's gotta look like alligator skin and all well, this. Look, it's just the color, okay? The color, you, you don't want nitrogen in the leaf. What happens is the leaves from the bottom of the plant will uh, will uh, start to yellow and uh, the because because it's putting, putting all the nutrients up to the top of the plant so you'll see more more green leaves at the top because all the nutrients in other words the uh, nitrogen is going to the top of the plant for growth uh, proteins used for growth so so anyhow uh, what 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 we got here is let's go over to, to what we do want so over here we have yellow leaves Okay, now these ones are starting to go brown on the end. This is actually dried out on the plant, so. But this one here, he's about right. But it wasn't for this dark bit here. This is perfect. This is what you want. You want a yellow leaf. It hasn't dried out yet. You don't want it dry out on the plant. It would be a harsh smoke. But uh, you want it yellow and you want it dry in a controlled environment where you dry it slowly indoors. Uh, and uh, that's perfect. Now you can get away with a, a very light green becoming yellow. Now let's get our dark one and put it next to it. See, see the difference in the greens there. So too dark, that's fine. That's perfect. Okay, you can, you will maybe see mottling where it's green and there's, a, there's yellow and green together. Give that one a go. It'll dry a, a dark brown when it does dry well, even though this is Virginia bright leaf which will dry in perfect conditions will dry to a to a yellow color to a, a yellow brown I should say um, yeah go ahead and give that one a try if it's the end of the season you got your last leaves left and the cold weather is coming but um yeah now the reason a lot of these people who are, who are doing who are, who are trying to cure uh, tobacco leaves that they've grown in pots or containers is they're adding a lot of uh, fertilizer to the plant. They want the plant to be big. So they're like, okay, I'm gonna add more fertilizer and what do you know, the plant does grow big. However, the plant needs to deplete the nitrogen in the soil before you, uh, before you uh, harvest it. And there's so much nitrogen in their soil by the time it's, ready to go that uh yeah they'll never get that green out of that leaf so it's a wasted harvest so yeah so let's let's go through them shall we way too dark you give it a go if you really have to but it's, there's some green in there it's still pretty dark it getting pretty acceptable this is a good one there's a bit of green in there but it's it's very yellow and it's very pale this one's 
is much better. And this one here, with the exception of this brown bit, which you can't use, that'll just be harsh, is this is this is this is the golden perfection. That's what you want. See all the nitrogen's been tapped out of it, like the plant has taken up all the, the nitrogen out of the soil and and, and uh, yeah, and that'll be at the bottom of the plant and you work your way up so your plant will end up looking like a lollipop or something like that with with little <laughs> with leaves on top and a big stalk and uh, yeah and this one here he's a bit brown in the end but yeah, yeah, look at this one <laughs> look he's look how he's changed but still it's not as dark as that so so anyway I hope this clears some things up for you grows or especially for you grows who are growing in pots or containers you don't want to have a disappointing harvest so yeah happy growing